Hello nerds. Um so today I got a new dice delivery in this bag from Kraken. They're just HD sets, but I haven't opened them yet, so I haven't looked at them. Um and the arrival of these inspired me to take a video of my entire collection, which isn't that big yet, but is growing very, very fast. So, I kind of got myself organized a little bit. Hang on, I'm taking off my jacket. And I was gonna go kind of by manufacturer, sort of. So, most of the dice I own are from HD Dice. Um, which, if you haven't heard of them or don't know much about dice collecting, uh, HD Dice is kind of like the wholesaler for dice. They sell their dice to other dice manufacturers, and then those, not manufacturers, other dice suppliers, and then those suppliers sell them. So most of what Kraken has on their website is actually HD Dice that have just been resold. Um, Die Hard also appears to have some HD dice that have been sold. The Die Shop Online has HD dice that are resold. Um, and each place tends to rename them, so the names of HD dice don't stay consistent. Um, you can buy them on Amazon, you can buy them all over. So these up first are my HD dice, which are, you know, not super fancy, but I think they're pretty. So let's see where to start, where to start. We'll start here. So this is, I'm usually not a fan of the pearlized dice sets, but um, bright green is my favorite color. And these were actually in a mystery bag of a friend of mine, Holly Batali Cosplay. And when she opened them, she was like, oh, and I was like, oh, so she gave them to me. Um, and they're just, they're just pretty. I just, I am a fan of bright green. So yeah, I love these. They're my favorite color. I don't really love um, the gold numbering, but I haven't decided yet what I would change it to. I briefly tried on one of these somewhere. There you go, you can see it a little bit in the two. I briefly tried changing it to blue because my favorite colors are bright green and bright blue, but it looked terrible, so I gave up on that. So this is the HD bright green pearl set. Um, and again, these all have different names depending on where you get them. I'm not sure what Kraken calls these, but... Um, okay, next are these, which I actually purchased at a local game shop. I believe Kraken calls them mermaid glass. Um, but they've got these uh, striations of purple, blue, and green in every single die. You can see it the clearest in the D6. Um, but yeah, these, these I just thought were pretty. I liked them. So I buy them, just from a local game shop. This was um, Holly Batali and Lotus Cat and I were all just hanging out one day and we were like, let's find a game shop and buy dice. And we found a game shop and we didn't just find dice, but Lotus Cat found a Blue Eyes White Dragon Yu-Gi-Oh card that they were selling for a dollar. So that was a winner day all around. And the cafe there is called Battlegrounds grounds like coffee and all of their drinks are named really funny and cool stuff so I really want to go back there someday if I can because I really like that store um, okay these were my first Kraken purchases um, these are the ones that they call uh, black vapor and these are like hit and miss so like I really like this one because you can really see the distinct swirls of color inside but like the D20 is so muddled that unless you hold it up to the light in just the right way, it just looks black. Um, so I was really hoping for dice that looked like they had smoke trapped inside, but a lot of them, like the D4 is all right, but a lot of them, like the D12 and the D20 and the percentile, they're so heavily saturated, they just look black. So pros and cons to this set. They're still cool. I still like them, but I wish they all looked a bit more like this. They had just a little bit less. On the flip side, I ordered from that same set the pink and the green, and this one I almost wish it had a little bit more going on, but I like these well enough. I bought them because they reminded me of Sailor Jupiter, um, 
And I think Kraken calls these water lily, vapor water lily. But yeah, the vapor sets are a little bit hit and miss. Um, it looks like Kraken is doing a better job with their ethereal sets, which is what their Kickstarter was, because pretty much every picture of ethereal shaman I've seen looks really good. So I'm hopeful that the actual Kraken exclusive ethereal dice will be better than the HD vapor dice that they sell. Because while these are okay, they're, they're not as pretty as the pictures would lead me to believe. This one's also really heavily green and not a lot of pink, which you know is fine with me because green's my favorite color, but I like the ones that are a little more well-rounded. Um, next up is this set right here. This set reminds me of Jester from Critical Role. I think, I think Holly Batali gave me these too. We feed each other's dice addictions. Um, I really like these. They're, they're pearlized again, which is not my favorite, but I just love the power of this color combination, this bright blue and this bright purpley pink. Um, so these are super pretty. They're also one of the few dice that have gold numbering that I actually like the numbering. I guess I like the gold numbering on these. Um, but yeah, these are, whoops. Again, I don't know what Kraken calls these because I didn't actually buy these, um, but they are just HD dice, so you could, you could get them anywhere. Um, next up is this set. This set um, was actually included in my Die Hard purchase as a bonus. So I didn't even buy this, they just gave it to me. Um, and it's got green in it, so I like it a lot. Um, green and yellow, yellow is my third favorite color. And so these, these are super fun, they're silly. Um, I like them. I don't know that I would have bought them myself, but I am happy to have them. Um, I, when I ordered my Die Hard Dice, they ask you to leave a comment about just anything. And they're like, leave a comment and we'll send you an extra present. And in my comment, I said my favorite color was green. And they listened. Okay, so that's all the HD dice except for my new bag. There are four dice sets in here that I've never looked at. So let's look at them together for the first time. This is so exciting. Four different sets in here. Ooh, here we go. Oh boy. Okay, let me try to organize these. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey look, more green. Who's surprised? No one. I like green. Oops. Okay, here we go. We'll start with this one. Um, this one they call Cookies and Cream. It's an 11 piece set, which means I get two D20s and it's cool that one of them is more black and one of them is more white. I think that's nifty. Um, these are really similar to another dice set I have that I'll talk about in a second, but I just love black and white. I do. Um, probably gonna re-ink these, though I'm not hating the gold. Gold kind of works on these, um, but they are an 11 piece set, which means they have four D6s and two D20s for rolling advantage, disadvantage and then one of all the others. Um, cool, I'm pretty happy with those. I like those, cute. Okay, um, these are very pretty. Can you, I wish I could, like these are gorgeous. The sparkle on these, can I get my camera to focus this close up? Maybe, sort of, no? The sparkle on these is really cool. The camera is not picking it up, but they're semi-translucent, so it looks like the color is a little bit under the skin. And they've got this really pretty sparkle. Um, I think Kraken called these blue-green galaxy, but um, I'm a member of a Facebook group called the Dice Maniacs Club. And when Kraken had their sale, I just said, hey guys, show me your favorite HD dice, cause I'm making an HD dice order. And a bunch of people posted this set. And it's just, it's just very, very pretty. I wonder if I can open my window anymore. Hang on. Did that do anything? Oh, I opened my window a little bit more. But these, they're, they're just very pretty. Very sparkly, they are um, very peacock. I think on Amazon they're actually called Peacock something. 
Yeah, the camera is not picking up the glitter very well, but these, these are winners. Um, okay, and then these, just to fuel my green habit, a nice green, nice green ombre happening here. I like it. They're simple, but they're green and silver. Silver is my favorite metal. So, pretty pleased with these in general. It's good stuff. Okay, and these, I was really debating on. Uh, Kraken calls these snow cone, and their stock photo looks really ugly, but then everyone's in person photos, they look like galaxies. Like, can I focus on that? Like, they're, it's very spacey, and I liked that. Um, they also have a really subtle glitter. Um, they're not as pretty as I was hoping, if I'm being honest. Um, but I do still like them and do think that their uh, stock photo just does not do them justice. Like, the stock photo looks real ugly. Um, and some people do think these are really ugly. And in person, I was hoping, I was hoping for more. Maybe they look better in direct sunlight. Um, but I don't want to go outside right now. So those are my four brand new sets that we all just met together. And now I'm going to slide them over here and we're going to move on. Okay, the next is the order I made from the Dice Shop Online. It's actually what it's called. It's a website where you can buy dice and it's based out of the UK. But the shipping is pretty reasonable all around. Um, so I got this one from them. And this is actually from the brand Game Science. And Game Science, what their kind of thing is, um, is precision dice. So their dice are super sharp. Um, most of their dice also come uninked. So you can ink them how you choose. Um, their dice also often come unpolished. Can you see that? Um, that's called a sprue mark. So they expect you to like sand them and clean them off. I bought this one mostly as an experiment because um, game science dice are like a hot topic in the dice community. Some people love them, some people hate them. Some, uh, a lot of the times they come quite imperfect. Like I got off pretty easily with just this one little sprue mark. Um, but a lot of times people complain a lot about the quality of their game science dice. And mine do have, I don't know if you can see it, but they do have like these scratches in them that I don't know what's up with that. But I got this mostly as an experiment, so I'm okay with it. I don't know that I'd buy a full set, but I do like, I do like the weight and the feel and the semi-transparentness of this, because which I guess semi-transparent is called translucent, but it's a little bit more than translucent because it's quite it's quite see-through. You can see my ring through it. Uh, so that was one of the things I bought from the dice shop online. And then I also bought this set. I just I really like this set. Um, I'm blanking on who the manufacturer of this set is, but it's called Gem Blitz Aqua. Um, it surprised me that it was called Aqua since it's more green and yellow than blue. There's a little bit of blue in there, but green, yellow, and blue are my favorite colors, so I was like, I have to get these. Um, the Gem Blitz Red, I'd love to get, um, but I couldn't find them anywhere. I think it's out of print. It looks like fire, but it's just, they're really cool. These glass, green, yellow, with a little bit of blue. They're also, like, weirdly slick. They feel... They feel different in my hands than in the other dice. Not quite slippery, but just really, really smooth. Um, so I'm a big fan of these. I really like these. I'd love to get more colors of Gem Blitz. And again, I'm blanking on who the manufacturer of Gem Blitz is. Um, but if you search Gem Blitz Aqua, you'll find it. It's there. Um, okay, now these. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are moonstones. Um, these are made by Crystal Cast. 
Um, they are out of print, but the Dice Shop Online was selling D20s up until recently, so who knows. Um, Moonstone comes in, well, I have three colors of Moonstone. This is Moonstone Maple, and it's primarily got like a red-orange thing going on with some other colors, like clearly there's some green. Um, but that's Maple. I only got one Maple because I was like, uh, I don't like Maple that much, I'll only get one. And then it arrived and I was like, it's beautiful, I wish I had more. Um, but the gemstone dice, or sorry, the moonstone dice, they're just pretty. Because in certain lights, they just look like kind of glassy, white, frosted. But then you get them in the light and they're just so pretty. So that's maple. Um, and then these two are the same. These two are... Jade. There we go. I've totally blinked. These are jade, which means their primary color sparkle is green. And they're also very, very pretty. I got two of these because green is my favorite color. Have I mentioned that? So good. And then last, this is Moonstone Aquarius. And its main color is like a purpley blue. It's more subtle than the other two, but just as freaking gorgeous. So, oops, come back, Jade. So here's one of each. Let me get them in the, get them in a good light. Maple, Jade, and Aquarius. So good. So those are my moonstones. I love them. Okay, let's talk about Die Hard Dice. So Die Hard is actually a local community or a local company. They're literally like 10 miles from me right now. Um, and they specialize mostly in metal dice. That's not all they have, but it's kind of their thing. Um, and as I've mentioned a couple dozen times in this video, green is my favorite color and silver is my favorite metal. And I've seen them with dark green and silver before, but I've never seen them with bright green and silver before. So when I saw these, I kind of flipped out and I was like, oh my gosh, they're my perfect dice. They're part of Die Hard's gemstone collection. And I'm unclear on whether these, the, because there are dice produced just like this that are not um, manufactured by Die Hard. So I'm unclear on whether or not Die Hard is sourcing these or actually having them produced. Um, they make it sound like they're having them produced because they're part of their gemstone collection and it sounds like they're trying out different color combinations. Um, but I love them. And remember how I said Die Hard sent me an extra present? They also sent me this extra D6 when I ordered. And I'm like, it's like they knew I played a barbarian. Two-handed weapons for the win. Um, so this is um, Silver Peridot, or Peridot Silver, not sure which order those words go in, from Die Hard Dice. Die Hard. And I also just, I gotta love a company whose name is like a pun. Um, so, yes, this is Silver Peridot. Um, and then, they also, so this is another reason I feel like these dice are actually produced by them. Uh, is because they had these, and they said that these, they tried out the colors, and I guess they, they didn't like it for some reason, because they were like, these are limited edition. Um, so this is Silver Zircon, and um, these are no longer available. Silver Zircon was a limited run, well, I don't know, maybe they still have a couple. Um, but when I, when I discovered Die Hard Dice, these had actually just sold out, and I was so sad, but I ordered my silver peridots, and when I wrote them my message, I was like, green and silver is my favorite color, and I'm super sad I didn't discover you guys earlier because the silver peridot was also gorgeous, and they messaged me and they were like, hey, we still have one in the warehouse, do you want it? And I said, yep. Um, so that's, that's silver peridot. These are, they're a really nice weight, like listen, like they're, they're heavy little suckers. That was a 12, not the best. Um, so yeah, that's Die Hard Dice with Silver Peridot, Silver Zircon. I love the little cases that come in. Because like, I feel like these metal dice could actually cause some damage. Um, 
Okay, some odd bobs. These are like my odd bob dice. These two came from Die Hard in my little bonus pack. They gave me so much in my little bonus pack. I really like this D20. I have no idea where it comes from. I assume it's an HD dice, but I don't know. I call it Clown Barf. Because it looks like Clown Barf. But I think it's cute and funny and I like it. Um, they also gave me this uh, percentile, which I don't really know what to do with because I either like to have just the d20 or the whole set, so it bothers me that this is just some rando dice. Um, and then this I actually got in a bath bomb. This came in a bath bomb from Critical Baths. They make bath bombs and soap with smells inspired by the characters of Critical Role. It's pretty cool. This was in my Yasha bath bomb. Oh, I actually have a partial set upstairs that I didn't bring down. Because I bought one of their um, one of their bath bomb sets where it has seven bath bombs and it's one for each member of the campaign, and they contain a full set of dice. And I'm slowly working on a pink glitter dice set out of that. But I've only done four, I think, out of the seven bath bombs, so I don't have that whole set yet. And I left it upstairs. Um, okay, some of my rando d20s. Well, we'll start with these because they all go together. Um, these are all part of the Chessex Borealis line. Um, if you're into dice collecting, you've probably heard a lot about Borealis. They're very popular. Um, they're all, they've all got glitter infused in them. That's part of what makes them very popular. Um, and the story about the Borealis line is that they used to have a different kind of glitter in them. Uh, but then I think, this is, this is, I haven't researched this, this is all just I've heard off the internet. Um, Germany started using that glitter in their money, and so Chessex, for whatever reason, could no longer use it in their dice, so they changed glitters. And the glitter before was the old glitter, very, very pretty. New glitter, I mean, it's not bad, but it definitely could be better. Um, so these are all new glitter. Um, someone was selling this set on eBay, just the D20s from a bunch of the Borealis sets. Um, this is not all of the Borealis sets. I know that there's orange and magenta. Orange is crazy rare. Magenta is kind of rare. Um, this surprise, this one is my favorite because it's green with blue sparkles. Um, I'm a big fan of smoke though. So the different colors, this is called light green with gold. This is called purple. This I think is just called blue, might be called sky blue. This is pink, this is smoke, this is teal, and this is royal purple. Um, so I'll show you each one. So I already kind of held this one up, but this is light green, it's got a blue sparkle to it. This is purple, it's got Trying to get there, you go. Kind of, it's got a silver, silvery gold. It's got a metallic sparkle. Um, this is blue. It has that same silvery gold metallic sparkle to it. Uh, royal purple has um, more of a blue, blue sparkle. Similar. These two have similar sparkles. Um, teal also has a blue sparkle in it. My videos. I don't think my videos are doing these justice. You should Google these. They're really, really pretty. Um, smoke has kind of a silver sparkle that is attempting to be a rainbow, but it's not. It's just silver. And then pink is... It's got kind of a pink glitter, actually. So, there you go. So those are the Borealis line. Um, this one came in a pound of dice that actually Holly Batali got for her birthday and there were two of this one so she gave me one because it's green it's kind of a misfit because it's got something happening up here at the poor spot I'm not sure what happened there but I still like it because it's green um, and here's my last rogue d20 I love this one um, I bought this at Salt Lake Gaming Con last year. It's really cool. It's this metal steampunky D20. Oh, it rolled off. 
but it's a 13. Um, so yeah, I really like this one. I can't remember where I got it. I wish I could. Well, I mean, I know I got it at Salt Lake Gaming Con, but I can't remember who I bought it from. Um, my brother got the same one, but in like an iron. It's pretty nifty. Okay, um, and then I discovered recently, so this is one of the very first dice sets I ever bought. And um, I, as soon as I started collecting dice seriously, I knew what they were. This is um, a full set of Borealis Smoke. So this same guy. Um, but when I bought this set of Borealis, I was able to compare these and let's see if, let's see if I can get this good. So I gotta get some sparkle. Hmm. It's really not picking it up very well on the camera, but well, Oh, almost. You can almost see it up here on this one, right there. Um, the the glitter in this one is uh, rainbow, whereas on here it's pretty much just silver. Can you kind of see that? I love that one is a one and one is a twenty. That's totally coincidence. But this is more rainbow glitter, and this is more silver glitter. And um, I checked with the people on the Dice Maniac Club online, and this is an old glitter smoke set, which I think is pretty cool. Um, Cause those are, you can't buy those anymore. This was the first complete set of dice I ever bought. Only not that long ago, maybe six years ago. Um, and for a while they were the only dice I owned. Um, and I'm glad I still have the whole set because for a long time they were just like kicking around in drawers and stuff. It's a miracle that I was able to find them all. But yeah, I own an old glitter Borealis set, which I feel pretty cool about. Um, now onto these. These are Havsi's dice called Yin and Yang. Uh, which means they're black and white. Have these dice, this is what they do. They make dice that are half and half. Um, these came with gold ink, and I did not like that. I thought it looked very harsh, so I re-inked them in teal. But they're really cool. Um, they also have a subtle sparkle to them that you wouldn't, won't be able to see very well on camera. Um, I need to do some cleanup on these for my ink job. Um, but I really like them. The, they, they're very much my Yasha dice because um, the white part you can kind of see really looks like clouds. It really looks like stormy clouds. Um, so I'm, I'm very, very pleased with these. Um, there are quite a few have these dice that are really, really pretty. Most of them are out of print, which I'm sad about. But there you go. Oops. I gotta try and get all of them in. Blah, 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 blah. Why am I failing at this? That should work. And there we go. Okay, um, now I've got some cool ones. So I bought this set at Katsukan. And I love them because of their weird shapes. It's got a D3, which, you know, is pretty chill. Hey, look, a 3. Um, it's got a D3, and then they're all kind of crystal shaped because these are from, I think I already said, but these are from Crystal Cast. And um, like these are D6s right there. Six sides. Roll them like this. Pretty cool. Uh, this is the D4. It's essentially just a rectangular prism with pointed ends so that it can't land like this. Um, here's your D10 uh, percentile. And then the D8, D12, and D20 are the same. Uh, you can get sets from Crystal Cast where all of them are weird shapes, including the D20. The D20 just looks like a really big version of this. Um, but I didn't even know that when I was at Katsukana. I just saw these and I was like, whoa, those are different. Um, but they're, they're cool. I like them. And then in doing research, I found this set. So these are also from Crystal Cast. These are their Oblivion dice. 
Um, and they come in all of these fun colors. Here, let's make a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Um, they come in all these colors. And I was like, I don't know which set I want. And then I found this set of D6s on eBay, one of every color. And I was like, yay for not having to choose. Um, so I like to roll these for damage. They're very satisfying. Um, and then I've only got one left, and it's very anticlimactic because it's just this random colorful set of dice. No idea what this is. Um, I won it at Salt Lake Gaming Con last year. And it's just, I just won a random pack of dice out of a box. And this one was rainbow and the d20 was green. So I was like, yep, that's the one. Okay, so, zoom in a little bit. There's, there's my dice in all their glory. I don't have as many as some people, but I'm getting there. Working my way up. Hope you enjoyed this. I wish, no, I'm going to. I'm gonna take some of these outside in the sun so you can appreciate them. So you can stop now. You could have stopped a long time ago. Is anyone still watching? But I'm gonna take some of these outside in the sun so that you can really appreciate them. So let's go do that. Okay, we are out in the sun and hopefully I can do justice to some of these a little bit more. So this was a gem aqua, or yeah, gem blitz aqua. And it's pretty nifty. I can't really see the screen and there's a lot more, but hopefully you're getting some good views of this. Heck, I'm just gonna pick up my phone. I only need one hand for this. So there's Gem Blitz Aqua. It's pretty cool. Um, what other ones? Let's look at the Moonstones. So the Moonstones, they, they already looked pretty good inside, but here they are outside. Man, that lawnmower is just right on top of us. This is not an ASMR video. So there are the Moonstones. Um, let's look at snow cone in the light. See, so, yeah, it's pretty. It's got some sparkle to it. Definitely prettier than the stock photo led me to believe. Um, I don't like that there's this big chunk of black right here along the 1 and the 19, but oh well. It does very much look like a little galaxy. It's pretty cute. Um, then we've got, ooh, this one. This, this HD dice that I said was really pretty. Look at how sparkly it is. It's so sparkly and pretty. It's good stuff. Um, this is one of those ombre. It's also got some nice sparkle to it. That you can't see as well indoors. Um, and then all the rest of these are Borealis. So you can see them better. This is the royal purple. This is the regular purple. And again, these are all new glitter, except one that I'll show you at the end. This is pink. This is blue. This is teal. I really like the teal. This is green. This is my favorite. Um, and then these are smoke. I'll put them side by side and maybe now you can maybe now you can see the difference. Can you see the difference? This one is old. This one is new, and I promise there is a difference in the glitter. It's hard to get both of them to shine at the same time. But the old has more of a rainbow glitter, and new has more of just like a plain silver glitter. Okay, now I'm done. This was like half an hour or more on dice.
But if you're like me, you like dice. And you would watch a video that's over half an hour just on dice.